hello students so uh, what we are going to do today is we will be going through a few new uh, groups and their options okay uh, in the last video uh, we have uh, done I guess uh, uh, tabs uh, we, we studied home tab insert tab okay and uh, we went through the groups of uh, these tabs uh, let's revise uh, if we talk about uh, home tab uh, here you can see clipboard group is there font group is there paragraph group is there styles group is there editing is there okay and if you talk about insert tab uh, pages tables illustrations uh, here from here we can insert pictures okay and the header and footer we can insert header and footer text and symbols you, can, you want to insert uh, if you want to insert symbols you can just uh, go to this group okay now come back to home tab uh, let's uh, first do one thing yes uh, I'm going to write uh, a paragraph uh, let's I suppose I'm going to copy this one Control C then come to uh, my document I'm going to just uh, okay so here is a paragraph uh, it it writes uh, a style in a word processor is a name collection of various formatting information that defines the look and so so and so okay so if I want to change uh, the let's say if I want to change the color of uh, the first uh, uh, few words what I can do I need to select this word and uh, go to font uh, font group of home tab and there you can see uh, the uh, you know this uh, font color option okay so this is if you mouse over here you will see font color so this is font color option and when you click on uh, the um, color any color it is changed to that particular color is that clear so if you want to uh, bold it or italic or underline okay you just need to click on these three formatting features of the uh, word document okay so this is how we change the formatting okay let's do strike through what is strike through so uh, for that you need to select the particular uh, what do you call that uh, the um, you know group of words and then click on here this is strike through in font group inside home tab so if I if I click here so you see it will just mark a line in between the words okay this this is what this type through is okay next is superscript and subscript okay here you can see this is subscript and this is superscript okay what is this see if if I want to write h2o as you must uh, as you know the formula of water the chemical formula of water that is h2o okay so here two should be in subscript okay so for that I need to select this and then go to here subscript click on here see you can see h2 okay suppose I need to write uh, 2 to the power let's say 2 to the power 3 okay so 3 should be in uh, superscript okay because 3 is the power so I need to select this and click on here superscript as I click here you, you see so this 3 becomes a power of 2 okay so this is what superscript and subscript is that clear I hope this is clear now now come to uh, the next that is how to change the face of the uh, word face means suppose I'm going to click I'm going to select this much of uh, group of words so here is the font face this is font face okay as I click here so see there are so many types of face uh, faces are here uh, you can just uh, select like if I want to select this click on here and then see you change the face of the font okay size again size is there you can choose desired size okay and this is uh, to increase font size this is to decrease font size okay just you want to increase or decrease whatever you want okay now come to the uh, what do you call that highlighter text highlight color okay if I want to highlight uh, this line so select this and click on the particular color you want to highlight with okay, let's say for with, uh, yellow so it is now highlighted so uh, so far we have done uh, the font uh, group of home tab let's come to the next that is paragraph group okay in this group uh, there is the first uh, option is bullets so this is very important and this is very useful to also 
bullet is used to uh, you know see if I have a list of names suppose I want to write uh, the names of the let's say uh, five students so how can I write uh, I can just write like this the first name second name or third name okay the one way of writing is this or what I can do I can choose uh, the bullet the bullet list so there are two types of bullet list one is uh, this one this is uh, this is called uh, see and there are so many uh, options uh, circle is there square is there so many options are there so uh, if I want this okay okay so I'm going to write the name of uh, student let's say Raj next okay George okay or oh, let's say Papa okay so here when I enter the bullet comes automatically okay so I'm writing uh, another name then another name then another name see you will find and I can change okay see here this is an order list actually and if I want to write order list order list means one two three or a b c whatever I need okay suppose I am going to write with one two three so click on choose this you have to click on drop down arrow and choose one two three and here the first name second name third name and so on so this is order list so the previous one is an order list and this is order list okay so I hope you understand next come to the alignment okay uh, see if I want to write a paragraph or something like uh, I suppose a heading a heading one. or uh, I'm going to write computer computer so this is the heading of my next paragraph or next topic so I want to make it at center so what I can do I can choose uh, this uh, uh, these alignments one of these alignments so this is center alignment here this is left by default there is left alignment this is center this is right alignment okay so what is the justify see this is justify the fourth one see for that you need to you need to uh, okay choose a paragraph uh, okay let's uh, apply these different alignment on this paragraph or oh, this is left this is center this is right this is see in the left uh, you will see uh, to the left uh, side the letters are arranged in a particular order okay if I if I click on right uh, so here to the right side letters are arranged in a particular order not to the left okay but if I change this to uh, let's say justify so letters are arranged in uh, to the left as well as to the right in a proper way okay is that clear so this is the lesson for today thank you very much